How is the integration of inverse tangent of x over 1 plus x squared times e to the inverse tangent of x done here? Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. So right here, as you can see, we have inverse tangent of x right there and right there. And the derivative of inverse tangent of x is what? 1 over 1 plus x squared. And we have that on the bottom right here. So this suggests us to just do a u sub right away. Put u equal to inverse tangent of x. Take the derivative of both sides. du equals 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. If you would like, you can isolate the dx. I'll do that for you guys. Multiply this on both sides, we get dx equal to 1 plus x squared times du. Now we can take this integral from the x world to the u world. Have a look. Here we have the integral. Inverse tangent of x is the u over that 1 plus x squared. And then e, this is the u. And then the dx is this, which is 1 plus x squared and then du. As you can see, the 1 plus x squared, they cancel out very nicely. So we just look at the integral u e to the u du. So how do we work out this kind of integrations? Well, the key right here is to do integration by parts. So of course, let's do the d and then the i, plus, minus, plus on the side to get ready. This is the case that we should differentiate the u and then integrate e to the u. When we differentiate the u one time, we get 1, and then do it again, we get 0. When we see the 0 in the d column, we stop. And then when we integrate e to the u, it's just e to the u, and then do it one more time, c to the e to the u. This times this is the first part of the answer, and then this times that is the second part of the answer. And in fact, you don't have to continue 0 times 5, it's just 0. So let's see, we are going to get u times e to the u, and then minus 1, so it's negative, so this times that is minus e to the u. And then finally, we just have to put the inverse tangent of x back to the u. So this right here, we get inverse tangent of x times e to the inverse tangent of x. Yeah, this looks very intimidating, I have to agree on that. And then minus e to the inverse tangent of x. And then don't forget at the end, just put on the plus c. Yeah. So that's how you do the integration for that function.